This is the Sri Lankan president's ancestral home going up in flames. No food, no fuel, no medicines and raging protests. In a new turn of events, PM Mahinda Rajapaksa put in his resignation after the protests turned violent. Here's how the crisis unfolded over the past two months. On March 31st, hundreds of protesters tried to storm the house of President Gotbaya Rajapaksa and demanded his resignation. On April 1st, given the spurring protests, Gotbaya declared a state of emergency, giving sweeping powers to the security forces to arrest and detain suspects. On April 2nd, a 36-hour nationwide curfew was declared and troops were deployed around the country. On April 3rd, almost all of Sri Lanka's cabinet resigned at a late-night meeting except for Godbaya and his brother Mahinda. On April 4th, Godbaya offered to share power with the opposition under him and Mahinda, but the offer was rejected. On April 5th, Rajpaksa appointed a new finance minister, Ali Sabri, who resigned a day later. Mahinda lost his majority in the parliament and lifted the emergency in the country. On April 9th, Marking the biggest protest to date in the country, thousands of citizens marched to the president's office demanding his resignation. On April 10th, Sri Lanka's hospitals said that they ran out of life-saving drugs and warned that crisis could kill more than even the pandemic. On April 12th, Sri Lanka announced that it ran out of foreign exchange and needed to import goods. It said that it is defaulting on its entire external debt of $51 billion as a last resort. On April 18th, the president unveiled a new government that removed his two brothers and nephew but retained Mahinda as the PM. On April 19th, the police killed a protester in the anti-government protests, marking the first casualty of protests. The IMF asked Sri Lanka to restructure its debt so it could provide a rescue package. On April 28th, a general nationwide strike brought everything to a halt. On May 6th, Thousands of schools, shops and businesses closed as public and private sector banks went on strike. An emergency was declared for the second time in over a month. On May 8, Sri Lanka asked for $100 million funding from the Asian Infrastructure Bank. On May 9, PM Mahinda Rajpaksa resigned and clashes in the country turned violent, leaving five dead, including an MP. Rajpaksa's ancestral home was set on fire a lawmaker from the ruling party shot two people and then took his own life. The violent riots killed five people and injured more than 200. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mode.